Hello guys and welcome to a new video, actually the very first of this year, so I hope you had a great start into the new year. I was able to find a little bit of rest and spent a few days on the mountains, so I'm feeling yeah, way better than at the end of December. This video is not about any upgrades, drum pedals or whatever, it's more about planning the year of 2019 or what should or what will be going on. For those who are following my email newsletter or weekly update list, um, they've noticed that I wasn't feeling that well, um, especially within the last period of 2018. Um, yeah, the reason behind this is that I was just, yeah, a little bit overworked, and not a little bit, I was much overworked, tired, and yeah, I got depressed actually, to be speaking totally openly and honest. Um, I even faced uh, the symptomatics of burnout twice within the year of 2018, so there's definitely the need to change something. So the reason behind all my situation is just that I have to yeah, clear it myself, or I have to get in touch with myself, because what I did, I just literally pushed myself way too hard. I tried to develop and develop as soon as possible products, try to interact and communicate with everyone every single minute and try to keep in touch with everything. And yeah, I made myself to the worst version I can imagine of a boss. So during the last two and a half weeks, I had some time to think a little bit and rearrange a little bit. And yeah, it's definitely time to slow down and make the year of 2019 a little bit more quiet for myself. Um, from the outside, there won't be that many changes. Um, the most recognizable difference will be that I, at the moment, I set the delivery date of the products in the online shop to uh, four to six weeks for the moment, even by the fact that most products and parts to do assembly products are in stock and will be shipped out way faster than um, this four to six week period. Usually, um, it yeah lowers my stress level. As crazy as it sounds, but it makes my life a little easier. Also, I schedule, I'm schedule. i going to schedule my days a little bit um, different. I set up um, typical office days on Monday on Friday. On Wednesday, I have a mixed day, so I will check in the office and go into the workshop. So I'm not running into a daily schedule where I'm just doing every day the same and running out of time usually. Because there's literally no time doing anything else besides in the morning checking emails, heading to the workshop, heading to the post office, heading to the workshop again going back home and doing office again and there's literally almost no time for anything to plan in the future or develop new products so I'm always running an inner stress level or a peak in a stress level and now with this schedule I have the whole Monday as an office day for me and I don't have to focus on any stuff that needs to be done in the workshop I can just focus on office stuff on developing all the new stuff all the new ideas within one day the next day I have time to do stuff in the workshop and so on so I just get some background information about my yeah daily life and daily schedules. Um, I managed to try it out within the, the holiday season and now within this week and yeah it turns out to be feeling pretty good. So the hardest change will be that the delivery time or the expected delivery time will be a little bit slower than expected because I just yeah tried to compete with Amazon and Tormon and ship out every little thing within the next day but I literally totally forget that I'm at least not a retailer I'm creating stuff um, at first and that I'm just one guy managing or try to managing all of this as I talked about my change of my daily schedules or let's say my uh, specific work days that also means that I'm not um, answering on Facebook or social media messages in general within a day um, I try to check social media every Monday and every Friday if there's anything important there will be an automatically response that you should please um, reach out to me by email because the emails um, I'm usually checking frequently and if there's anything important coming up I will see it immediately or at least within one day so please don't be mad if I'm not responding that quickly on social media yeah for 2019 as I said it is going to be a little bit more quiet year for me um, I'm not planning to go on that many events no big fairs maybe I don't know how this year develops I will attempt to go to the London Ram show again because that was quite fun in the UK 
Um, also, I have plans to do a little workshop tour in the summer within Central Europe, as I already mentioned a few months earlier. So if you have any ideas where I can make a stop and present some of my stuff or make a test option for diving pedals and so on, if you know a store or a studio, whatever, uh, feel free to write me an email and let me know. I'm happy to plan and schedule this. So the plan is to do it for a week from Monday to Sunday, for example, and just drive to different destinations in and around Central Europe, um, yeah, to get the products to you or to get any test options to a little bit closer to you, because as you already know, uh, ACD is just a pretty small company and it could be hard to just be everywhere to be able to, um, yeah, give any test options. So I think this workshop tour or test tour could be quite fun experience for me and hopefully also for you. So feel free to reach out to me. And also there are lots of new ideas for drum pedal upgrades in general, specific drum pedal upgrades for some certain types, and also to extend the Darwin hardware series a little bit more. So based on the lightweight, um, yeah, Darwin hi-hat and remote hi-hat, I also want to develop cymbal stands, tom stands, a drum rack, and maybe even a lightweight based uh, drum set or shell set. I have a concept in mind I want to work on, so definitely stay tuned. Oh no, before I forget, one more thing. Um, I'm going to be in Japan between January 21st to February the 5th. So within this time, I'm usually reachable by email, but I'm not able to, yeah, head into the workshop or doing some stuff. So please know that that's also a reason for the um, estimated delivery date of four to six weeks for the moment. Um, yeah, I think that's it with this video so far. Um, I'm going to try and make a video while I'm in Japan. Hope to see uh, a little bit of snow into the area. And I hope to talk a little bit about one of the upcoming upgrades I'm working on. But overall, um, yeah, don't be mad at me if I'm not managing to make a video. But as usual, I try my best and hope to see you soon. Hope to hear from you as soon as possible. So stay tuned and have a nice day. Bye.